Arduino has a microcontroller. All of you know this. Okay, this is a microcontroller. This microcontroller has an internal ADC. If the ADC doesn't uh, uh, is not available as an internal component of the microcontroller, then we have to externally connect an external ADC. Fortunately, this microcontroller has an internal ADC, which means which is available inside the AC. So not have to. that is the biggest advantage uh, that you have in our uh, microcontroller, which is uh, at Mega 328 microcontroller. In this microcontroller, uh, ADC is internally available. How many channels are available? There are six channels available. What do you mean by a channel? A channel is a point where I connect an analog signal. So I can connect up to six analog channels. Of course, uh, the microcontroller will only acquire one channel at a time. Okay, so I can parallelly uh, handle six students, but at the same time, I can deal only one student when it comes to see signing an observation or record, or whatever it is. So sequentially, I do it. So that is how it is. So the microcontroller, even though it has six channels, at any given point in time, it can only acquire one channel. So it, it does that in a cyclic manner. So this is where we connect uh, analog inputs. So the analog inputs are named as A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. Totally six channels are available. Okay, that is the first concept. The reference voltage of uh, the ADC by default is 5 volt. It is also possible for you to change the reference voltage by externally con connecting a signal here. So, which means you can change the v, uh, v reference if you want. That option is available. The resolution of the ADC is 10 bit. So, the moment I say 10 bit resolution, the maximum ADC value can be 0 to 1023. 0 corresponds to 0 volt. 1023 corresponds to 5 volt. Okay, so that is the basic information of the ADC of Arduino. Right now, how are we going to read the analog value and convert it into digital? So let us say for a simple example, I take a potentiometer. One end of the potentiometer I connect plus 5 volt. The other end of it I connect it to ground. The variable end of the potentiometer I connect it to analog zero. This is connected to analog. So this voltage ranges from zero to 5 volt depending upon the value of the uh, uh, this moving slider. So this analog voltage ranges from 0 to 5 volt. So I have to convert that analog voltage into digital. So what is the function that I should use? So far you have been using only digital functions available for the right hand side pins. So this is the time for us to use the analog function. So what is the name of the function? Analog read, analog read function. Analog, A-N-A, -N -A, analog read, or caps analog read, which channel you want to read. I want to read channel A0, analog 0. You always know analog read function will return a digital value. Okay, so what is the value that it returns? You assign it to a variable. Whatever the variable that you wanted to save, you save my data. My data is a variable because analog read function will return a value. What is the value it returns? It returns a value anything between 0 to 1023, depending upon what is the analog value of A0. Okay, if A0 analog input is 5 volt, it returns 1023. If A0 is 0 volt, it returns 0 volt, uh, 0. Anything between 0 to 5 volt, the digital data is accordingly controlled. So, so far we read digital write, digital read. Now we are dealing into analog read function. So analog read is the third function, which is used to read analog values and convert it into digital data. The digital data is assigned to a variable. Okay, potentiometer. Is connected to analog channel zero of is nothing but A zero. Write a firmware convert the analog signal to digital and transmit the data to PC every 500 milliseconds using UART at 9600. Okay, the question is very big. The solution is pretty simple. What is the question? I have a potentiometer connected to analog channel zero. I want you to convert that analog signal into digital and uh, that digital data needed to be transmitted to PC. How it should be transmitted? Via UART at 9600 baud rate. And how often it should be transmitted? Every 500 milliseconds. This 500 milliseconds is my sampling time. Sampling. So that is my first problem. In the first problem I did, uh, I connected a potentiometer to analog zero and then I connected my computer via USB. This is a pseudo UART. Actually, what if you want to do, you have to do it with max. Okay, so in this case, we are using pseudo UART and then checking it. Either way, code is same. So that is the first problem. So let us uh, go to the Tinkercad. Let us first understand how the potentiometer works. 
So a potentiometer is a variable resistor. Just like any other resistor, it has some value. Let us say uh, I fix uh, 10 kilo ohm. Okay. So this has uh, three terminals: terminal one, terminal two, and the wiper terminal or the middle terminal. This is where the variable voltage is trapped. So I take our Arduino. I take a breadboard. So let us first uh, fix the power supply for the breadboard as usual. So let us uh, take the 5 volt line and I also short circuit this line. Ground I can take from here. I can also short this ground and this. So that concludes my power part. Let me put the uh, potentiometer here. Maybe I can put it here. So the first one is I am connecting to the power point. The second terminal I connected to ground. Okay. The center point is the variable voltage. Before we connect that to uh, our Arduino, uh, let us test that by using a multimeter and see what is the voltage. So let me take a voltmeter. So this negative, let me short circuit here. Positive, I connect it to this. Okay. So the positive of the voltmeter is connected to the uh, middle point or the uh, central point of the wiper. <laughs> if that is confusing for you, then probably I, what I can do, let me do the, the old school way. Old school way is taking a potentiometer. Connect the positive of the potentiometer, this fellow. Connect the negative of the this and the middle point. I connect it to the positive of the. <coughs> so this is my power supply line. This is my ground line. And this is the signal line. So the ground I anyway connect to the ground of this. Now if you run this, uh, you can see that uh, the potentiometer value is changing. The analog value is changing as I change the uh, potentiometer. So the maximum value is 5 volt. So it ranges between 0 to 5 volt uh, as I change the wiping uh, hand here. So this is simulating a variable voltage, analog voltage. So this variable analog voltage is what I am connecting to my Arduino. So that is what I am doing here. Okay. So I have brought the original circuit here. So so this is the potentiometer. The variable at the end of the potentiometer, let us connect it to analog 0. So this is my analog 0. So here is my signal. So the pink one is the signal line that is going to analog zero. So let us write the code. Let me take your notepad plus plus. Void setup log voltage uh, integer ADC value is the signal is the variable. ADC value is assigned with analog read function. Analog read of A0. Once you read the analog value, it is assigned to ADC value. ADC value is a variable. Then what you do with ADC value? Uh, serial dot print line to pass this value and how often you want this every 500 milliseconds so how this works analog read function takes the analog value of channel 0 depending upon the analog value it converts that value into digital and that value is sent to ADC very simple let's uh, test it here <coughs> I will also connect the uh, multimeter so that we get the negative is connected to ground Positive, I connected to signal. Okay, so so that I can also get the analog value. So multimeter shows the analog value. The ADC converts that into digital, which I am pushing into serial port, which I can observe in the serial window. Now let us take the, the uh, source code 1023 because the analog voltage here is 5 volt. Okay, so if I change the analog value to something else, say 3.5 volt. For 3.5 volt, what is the digital value shown? 716. So you can just cross check that whether it is correct or not. 3.5. So for 5 volt, if it is 1023, for 3.5, it is 1023 divided by 5 multiplied by 3.5, So what are we getting there? We are getting 716. So you know that it, it will not display the fractional value. It will display only the uh, integer value. Let me keep it at a different value, let us say. So instead of uh, 3.5, uh, let me fix it at uh, 1.3 volt. So for 1.3 volt, what is the uh, value it is displaying? 266, 266, so 266 for 1.3 volt. Let's check this. For 5 volt, it is 1023. For 1.3, 5 into 1.0. 1023 divided by 5 into 1.3. 265.98 265.98 what is coming here it is 266 it is truncating into the closest uh, integer 